What's up, Maniac? Ryan here with Cleveland. How you doing, man? Hey, what's up, my man? Hey, we are here. We are here. Oddball Customs out of Texas. This is a 1963 Chevrolet Impala that I pulled out of a field. It sat in for 40 years. What you see here is not what it was. I think we did it about two months. Okay. Um, this frame has been completely blasted. It's Canadian, so it was boxed in the rear, but it was not fully wrapped. So this now okay. has 3 16 metal all the way around. Nice. Lots of work. What you see here, a lot of people don't understand how much it took to even get to this level. I believe. I mean, you're talking about welding plates around a frame, and then and you have welds that have to be smoothed down, and you also want the frame to look good. Yeah. These fr this frame, uh, we, we got it all smoothed out, did a lot of body work. I'm talking about hundreds of hours of body work. Who body works the frame? <laughs> Lowrider people, like, yeah. let's go. So Yeah, and yeah. it's gorgeous. It's Thank super you. smooth. Thank I mean, you. look at the transition oh, there. Oh, there's just... so many things done. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Very nice. Thank you to Alex from Hoppos for giving me this whole wrap to get this thing in order. Hydraulics, the whole nine. Nice. He was a really great help. Got this not so normal motor up front there. Not supposed to be there, technically, <laughs> right? But at Oddball, we do things a lot differently. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while. You know, we pulled out that old 283, and we're working on putting something real special in here. Yeah. What can you so right now, about? we got a Hyper 9. It's one of the entry-level style electric motors, and it's bolted to a Corvette in manual transmission, okay. uh, which is needed. You know, you can't use an automatic transmission. You have to be able to knock the gears and RPMs down, so, you know. We were wondering what the transmission was when we were talking a little bit. It's off the camera. weird one. It's the oddball. Yeah, it's a yeah. little different. Yep, it's so <laughs> soft sideways and slanted. Yeah, <laughs> this is just a proof of concept setup. So later on, this is going to evolve into uh, what we really want. Uh, we don't need a lot of crazy horsepower. This is just a low rider for cruising. So about 300 horsepower or so is about where we need to be. This one is about 120, somewhere around there, 120, okay. 140, yeah. So, so we're uh, going a good bit bigger in there. Probably. Well, and with electric motors, size doesn't always make the difference. Okay. And that's that's the crazy thing. The motor that goes in may be even smaller. Who knows? Yeah. There's a particular company I'm interested in that has a motor that weighs about 300 pounds for everything. Oh, wow. Yes, 300 pounds for everything. Wow. And plenty of power. A little too much power for this car. That's why I'm kind of okay. thinking about it. And I like all the gold details you've done. Yes on the suspension components. The color is the Market Rose Gold. It's a tropical blitz color, and it's just the right flavor of what I wanted. Yeah. I like simple and clean, but also outrageous things. But sometimes I like them to have a package where you're just like, what's actually underneath that hood? Like, yeah. you know, and when you get underneath there, you're just like, wow, this guy went electric. You know, and then you either walk <laughs> off or you're intrigued. It doesn't matter either way. I'm still going to do me. <laughs> you say simple, but looking at those wheels, those are oh, not simple. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so every now and awesome. then, you have to jump over, you know. <laughs> and so uh, I got Edgar over at Galaxy Wire Wheels on the phone, and we went through, and I described to him what I wanted. And I was really simple. I, I have to admit, I was simple yeah. at first. I wasn't crazy. Okay. And then he said, well, wouldn't you want to diamond cut the edge? I was like, well, yeah, yes. It's diamond cut the edge, man. Who's paying for this? Like, you know, like, and, and, then it, and then it just evolved and evolved. But I made sure that the wheels said the name of the car, which is uh, it's the E Impala. It's no longer an Impala. And it's called the Shocker. You do things wrong. Yeah. So, yeah. Don't cross the wires. Please don't. Yes. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm John with Maniac's Garage. I'm here with Voxo, and I want to show you guys their new combo tool roll set. It comes with dead blow hammer, screwdrivers, Allen wrenches, pliers, pretty much the essentials. It also has socket sets, both metric and standard, and wrenches, metric and standard. And it even has some extra space here if you want to put in some special tools of your own. You can check them out at boxousa.com. And if you enter Maniacs at checkout, you'll get an additional discount. Now let's get back to our video. So, so far, what was the, what would you say was the hardest thing of what you've done so far? The hardest thing about building a vehicle is when you have to go outside of yourself to get something done. That's the hardest part, yeah. And other than that, it is just realizing that you're dealing with different clearances when you're, when you're boxing a frame, you know? The thing that you did before worked fine with a factory situation, but when you got box control arms and trailing arms and in a box frame, you have clearance issues. So that was probably like one of the biggest things for me because this was my first time 
fully wrapping the frame. And uh, I had Cody from Bennett Builds out in Colleen helping me out, and we went through this thing and got it done. But wow, uh, the next time around will be a lot more smooth. <laughs> I hope. So. Yeah. How about the most rewarding thing so far? I mean, obviously we're not quite finished. Yes. There's always satisfaction. You're here at SEMA. Yes. You've got this really cool yes. start of a car. I think that the most rewarding fact is bridging the gaps because in the automotive industry, we have people are just so one set, like one straight away, and I've never been that person. I have a vehicle I built that's covered in 300,000 glass crystal. Like I, I am, I'm from all over in this world, the Honda game, the whole nine. But I think bridging the gap between electric, low rider, and just bringing it all together, think about it. Low riders, they need to know that there are other options, just like everybody else. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's not common for that to happen. And so I'm proud to be one of the pioneers. There's uh, three, four other people I know of directly that are right right there as well. And I think it is good to bridge the gaps. So cool, mm -hmm. so cool. And you know, we at Maniacs Garage, we're all about oh, being different yes, as well. Yes, yes. <laughs> we don't do idol, anything man. normal. <laughs> yeah. You are my idol, oh, yeah. Thank you, yeah. I appreciate yeah, that. And as we tell you guys out there, go get something done like you said this this started off sitting in a in a field for 40 years all yes. just out yes put your mind to it you can get anything done you That's just got to get off the couch and get out there and do it man i love that yes <laughs> yes thank Leave you man. thanks man hey Appreciate such a it, pleasure buddy. my man definitely 100 percent next time right